A post for the Bulldogs. Spitfires had one, two. Lavoie back it over the line, charging to the net. Florian Jack Guy bouncing puck, couldn't do much with it. Morno punches it up the wall, out to play it. Drew back, couldn't handle it. Spitfires there. Morneau trying to stuff it underneath in the blue paint. Morneau pokes away at it, still loose. And now finally Thomas will get it away. With Lavoie, Thomas to an open wing. Lavoie skates into it. Jack Guy to center. He'll chase him to the corner. Montreal draft pick. Moves it along for the former captain of the Niagara Ice Dogs, Lavoie. Spellacy on his hip. We saw Zach Lavoie when the Ice Dogs were in town earlier this season. Pinching, sending it towards the goal. A good pace to this hockey game. Wins are a lot of jump to come out. Brantford's actually moving pretty well as well. Comes around the wall, right to the middle of the ice. That was Jack Guy. Couldn't turn and fire. Of course, the brother of Arbor Jack Guy, and also drafted by Montreal. Lifted to open space, and that, that took him a while to find this season. Look at Jay McKee, the former NHLer, former Kitchener Ranger head coach, former Niagara Falls Thunder. Am I right with that? Is that he played with the OHL? I believe you're correct. Former Buffalo Sabres defenseman. Two on one back the other way for the spit. Fires. Throw back. Juggles. Manages to poke it away from the pressure. Davis was going to the net on the right-hand side. And Abraham took the shot. Throw back. Made the save. Spitfires enjoy the start here to the Spitfires. Which, which isn't anything new. Spitfires have had some real good first periods. It's the second, which we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, where things seem to go a little awry. So we'll see how they play it here tonight. Hello. The Bulldogs get a chance to clear. Move it ahead for Jack Guy. Florian moves towards the goal. Big body drives the goal. Spitfires, another one goes off the post on the rebound. Joey Costanzo getting some help from those goal posts here in the first period so far. Jake O'Brien ripped one off. The left post, and there was Florian Jack Guy off the right post. Lucas Moore moves it ahead. It's Thomas to get it out. Game sitting in second place overall in the Eastern Conference. Sudbury's in action tonight. There's three points up in the top spot in the Ontario Hockey League, and they all got goals early. This one had a goal, minute 18 in as Thomas gets it off the draw. He sets up. Back for Lavoie. There's Thomas off a leg into the corner. Jax Dubois scoring just 40 seconds in at Ottawa. Kingston's got a 2-1 lead there. Big game in Sarnia tonight, or rather in Flint. Sarnia's there. They're up 2-1 in the early going. Niagara's got a 3-0 lead over Erie, who is in a tailspin right now. Gavin Bryant scored about two and a half minutes into that one. We'll look at those out-of-town scores coming up in the first intermission. Power play here. Jack Guy, quick shot right in on goal. Bouncing puck. Morneau couldn't clear the initial rebound. And now a sliding. Holton Smith finally slides it right out over the line underneath of him. Now we'll get set up once again. Thomas has to go back for it. He'll hold it in. This is a five-man forward unit for the Bulldogs. Jack Guy back to Thomas. Worked it back down low. Van Acker set up in front. Here's Jack Guy. Back into the corner for O'Brien. Comes off the wall, moves it to the middle. O'Brien leads his team with 16 power play points. He had a post earlier in the game. Van Acker back to Thomas. Going to take it off the skate. Move it here for Lavoie. His shot just goes wide on the left pad side. Van Acker. Back to Thomas once again. 25 seconds left in the green tree penalty. There's on in on goal. And in the midsection, held on to is Costanzo. And then Jack Guy. It looks like Eichler getting into it after the whistle. Four players in this lineup that played for the Hamilton Bulldogs in that 2022 OHL championship. Shot in on Costanzo, a weak one. He makes that save. Spitfires to an open wing and Spellacy. Zips back in over the line. Gets it to Colton Smith on the backhand. Spellacy back for Morneau. Morneau trying to wrap it around. Comes out to the point. Chopping at it there was Christoforo. 
Spellacy back in on the goal. Gets it back to the point. Here's Eichler teeing up a shot. Throwback. Makes the save just as a horn. Not going to go far. The Spitfires looking to kill off their second. Toure can't clear the zone. Knocked down by Thomas. Works it down below the goal line. O'Brien dishes back out up top. Here's Lavoie. Cross ice feed. Van Acker fresh ice. We're looking short side off the outside of the net. We, like you, don't get to see these Eastern Conference teams a whole heck of a lot. A guy like Eric Van Acker has been getting some attention on the upcoming far side now calling for the pass. So go back to Lavoie. Dish to Thomas. Down to O'Brien to the front of the net. Florian Jackeye. They're swinging around the outside. Jack Eye's right there in the blue paint, drawing some attention. Moves that pass down for Van Acker. Here's Jack Eye. Below the circles now. Gets it back to Thomas. Thomas sends one in on goal underneath of Costanzo. Now sent to the far side. O'Brien! That was a back hitter. Went all the way around the wall and comes out. Spitfire's looking to get a change in here. Morneau will slow things down. And then Dish into the far side. Not able to complete the change. It'll be Toure. First back, Crombie watches him. Puck loose, front of the net. Costanzo comes out quickly to make the save on Jack Eye. Spitfires 0 for 2. Or successful 2 for 2 in the kill. Bulldogs are 0 for 2. We'll go back to work here. There's a shot Van Acker. Not all of it. Not where he wanted it. Back to Lavoie. Far side, Thomas. Now they'll crisscross. Again, we'll say it again, the five-man forward unit on the power play for the Bulldogs. Thomas in on goal. Loose puck. That goes in the far corner. Davis has played well defensively, which is a rookie who's going to get you more ice time. Here on the penalty kill, Jack Guy to the front of the net. That goes off a leg and under. It's a two-on-two -two through center trying to catch up is Jack Guy. Jack Guy yelling three. He's the extra attacker there. Abraham stays with him. Jack Guy moves it to Thomas. Thomas. Far side, right to the side of the goal. Now back to Thomas. Thomas far for O'Brien. He's Hawks, Spellacy. Back for Smith, who had that chance. Knocked away Chen. Chen skates through center and now decides I'll cross the line with it. Leaves there for Lavoie. Lavoie takes to the back in front of the net. Florian Jackeye scores. On the doorstep, a broken play. And the Bulldogs will get on the board on their 28th shot of the night. Bulldogs with some glorious chances tonight. Nothing's been able to go on this time. It's just a bit of a broken play. Florian Jackeye is net front. And he just corrals that puck and almost like he kind of wraps it. Pull within one. So Florian Jackeye stays hot. The one takes the back in front of the net. Floor. Trailing 29 to 13 of the shot clock. Four power plays for the visitors. Spitfires have held them off the board with the man advantage. Into the corners, Nesbitt. Takes a hit from Sobolev. Nesbitt, hard pass back to the point. Taken by Cristoforo. Trying to shake his man as Jugen. Jugen moves it to the middle, trying to get that shot off off the side of the net. And Cristoforo had snuck down low once again. Cristoforo with his second chance of the period. Right down there on the goal line. Cross ice feed! That one snapped wide by Green Tree. He had just come off on a line change. And he just found a little open cushion there down low. Nesbitt trying to go through the legs, turning, firing his Green Tree. Another shot goes off a leg and wide of the goal. Green Well has taken a hit down in the corner. And Jack Guy and Adrian Rebello here in the second. Spitfires had goals in the first from Spellacy and Abraham. And they've only had seven shots here in the second, rather nine here in the second. Bulldogs have got 21. Struthers can't cross the line. Thomas gives him a bump. Now the puck gets dumped in. Cross takes a bump. Greenwell gets back to Toure. Sends it in on goal. Spitfires were there. And Struthers just got a piece of it. Almost got it off. Cross out to center. Green tree in his skates. Here's Moore. 
Rips it around. Toure trying to get to it. 6-7 defenseman does. And lifts it out down the ice. Open the scoring for the Bulldogs. Wins it back for Thomas. Thomas and Lavoie trade sides. Thomas right down the middle. Off to Van Acker. Watched there by Walton. Puck around the wall. Lavoie plays in the backhand. Lavoie's, they have put a good charge here together in their first season in Brantford. since second overall in Eastern Conference. Near side, Lavoie. He shoots. You look to your goaltender as your best penalty killer. And he's been that tonight. Lavoie moves into the corner for O'Brien. O'Brien off the hash marks. Back to Thomas. Lavoie. Thomas. Spellacy. Here's a shot. They'll score. That one handcuffed him. Spellacy. Here. Score in the power play. That's unheard of. So Spitfires will have just over 18 minutes here to try to erase that deficit, their first of the hockey game. Working it down low, Jack Guy, that net comes off in behind to get out. Well, we, we talked about it off air was... We don't get to see these Eastern Conference teams. You know, outside of just like the fans do. Here's Jack Guy. He's going to step into a shot. Rides over the forehead of Colt. Season ends March 23rd. On the road to Saginaw for the Spitfires. Ten points out of a playoff spot. Sarnia's been hot. Flint's been pushing. Here he's been in a bit of a tailspin here lately. But, well, a simple way to look at it. Get five more wins than Sarnia gets. Lavoie trying to carry that puck. Pass was in behind him. Spitfires unable to get offense going here. Trailing in the shot clock. 39-18. and Well, there you go. Bulldogs are going to score from an angle. Forty, the shot finds the back of the net. Well, it's just a centering feed. We're look at the overhead cam. Costanzo kind of gets his pot was right there to just flip that thing up into the open cage. So, so Rebello, right. is that Lavois? Regardless, the right-handed shot. So he is over. So what? Because he's reaching back for. I'm gonna say that's offside, right? Okay. The reason why he has to reach back is he. It, the officials have put their buckets back on. Alex Ross, rather. There you go, Nick. Lavoie's shot. His goal was called back. Front of the net, Florian Jackye chopping at it. And now a scrub Nesbitt and Lavoie tangle. But this well, Tanner Weingart had an interesting thought. Asked him about the second period slumps for the Spitfires. He said, yeah, here, look at the standings and think that's going to be an easy game. And we come out, we're firing, and then we get to backtrack it. And then scored three against Owen Sound on Saturday night. Spitfires can't clear all alone in front of Bellacy and Abraham's got a pair. Jack Guy, Rebello, and Thomas. Spitfires obviously keeping an eye on that out-of-town scoreboard. They're going to need lots of help to get into the playoffs. The Bulldogs hit second overall in the Eastern Conference drilling. Sudbury who was tied at last check in the Sioux tonight. Puck down low. There's Lavon and Costanzo comes out to give that one a look. And now Spellacy back to help out. Roar up the wall. Gets it out to center with speed. Here comes Ben Bujol. Leaves there for Thomas. Thomas moves to the middle. In front for Jack Guy scores. Bulldogs get one back. And Jack Guy. Well, it comes 12 seconds after that faceoff in their own zone. When I said 408 is a lot of time for the Bulldogs. Come back and get the seat time, getting the puck up the ice as Jack Guy just splits through and I think here's Morneau. Back to the point, Touré. Works the wing. Smith flings it far side. Nobody home but Lavoie. And then he loses an edge, and the Spitfire's trying to find it. They do. It's Eichler. Eichler can't do much with it. Spitfire just keep it in. Trying to force a play there. And kind of scrambling. Finally, the bull... Spellacy on the draw. Bujold going to move it to his partner, Sobolev. Jack 
guy is the third member here. Spellacy staying with him. Bouchol leaves for Sobolev. Jumping over the wall is O'Brien. Takes the spot of Bujol. And it's Sobolev trying to shake his man. Gets up, though. It's Davis. He might have a step on the defenseman. Davis to the front of the net. Spitfires can't shovel it home. That was Spellacy, the trailer. Sobolev had lost a step, and Davis trying to beat him wide. 